All right, what is up, everybody? I just wanted to take a couple of minutes here in the middle of all this chaos to uh, show you guys the, what I like to call the new and improved gig rig. Basically, for me, when I go out and do gigs, which recently has been a lot more than in the past, I like to have a set little rig that I bring with me so I know where everything goes and I know that I have the hardware separately for that so I don't have to mess with my rack and stuff. So I want basically to have... Uh, like I said, a gig rig that is ready to go at any time and is fast and easy to assemble and disassemble and very minimalistic in terms of how much stuff I bring with me. So let me show you guys what I have going on right here and I'll explain also what's new about it. So basically, when I do gigs, for the for the most part, I only bring one rack tom, a 12 inch, uh, sometimes the 10, but usually not. So, you know, it's less to carry and I don't really find myself needing the 10 inch that much for gigs. And uh, floor tom, kick, snare, good old normal stuff. Also, excuse the camera, it's jumping up a little bit, up and down like this. I don't know what's going on, it's my phone, I'm getting old, I guess. But in terms of symbols, I usually swap these out depending on what gig it is, but the one symbol that always goes with me for gigs, pretty much always at least, is the, uh, the Hi-Hat right here, which is the Minel 15-inch Bison's uh, Dark Hats. And same thing for this one, uh, the Minel 18-inch Extra Dry Dual Crash. These two pretty much always go with me for gigs. Uh, these three I tend to change out a bit, but uh, right now I have these on, just kind of jammed around with them a bit uh, recently, uh, earlier today. But this one is the 21-inch uh, uh, Bison Serpent's Ride. Love it, it's great for metal and stuff. And this is the 19-inch Bison's Extra Dry Thin Crash. And my little prototype China, which you, re which you guys might recognize from the VC video... Uh, sorry, uh, I can't speak today. The video I made recently, this is the, uh, I would guess you would call it an 18-inch uh, vintage trash china or something along those lines. I love it. Um, but again, symbols I tend to change out. I have some other stuff here that I like to bring. This ride especially, you guys might recognize this one. Um, the little limited edition ride. I love to bring that one for gigs as well. Uh, probably more than this one actually, but whatever. Um, in terms of what's new, uh, basically I had some, some problem, as you guys saw in my, in my recent gig vlog, uh, with uh, the carpet slipping away from me. So I decided to take the one that I had under my kit and use that for gigs. And I bought a new one, uh, which will come in in a couple of days. And I'll put that, that one here under my studio kit instead. Um, but basically I use this one now and I decided to, you know, put tape and stuff around all the uh, stands. To mark everything up so it's nice and easy to get everything in place, uh, which is really what the purpose of, is of this gig rig, as I said. I want it to be fast and easy to assemble and disassemble. That's also why I have um, memory locks pretty much for all of the stands everywhere. Well, this one I need to, to slide down, but yeah, I'm not, as, like I said, I'm in the middle of working this stuff out. I just wanted to make a quick video. But uh, as for the new stuff, um, I used to have like a lot of these stands, which is just like I put old pieces together of stands. Uh, I decided to keep this one just to save a bit of my economy, you know. But this one actually works. It's basically the bottom of an old Thomas stand and combined with some Gibraltar stuff right here and a clamp. And that works to hold uh, the Tom and the 18-inch crash. But the new stuff is I got two of these new stands, uh, two of the Gibraltar. I think there's like called like 6709 um, boom arm stands. One right here for the China, and another one right here for the ride, where usually I had some of these like Frankenstein um, hardware, which didn't really work out that well. So I got this one right now, it's a lot more sturdy. And this one is really cool, it's, it's a Gibraltar uh, flat base stand. So you can see it has a shorter, more low profile base, which allows me to just slip it in right there, right between the other stuff. Fits nice and snug. Um, so I'm, lo I'm loving this stand, it's actually really um, stable considering how lightweight and low base it is. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for hardware. Um, again, I, I really like to bring my double pedals as well, usually for gigs, um, just to have them if I, if I need them. But this is pretty much my gig rig. Uh, I also usually bring all my mics and stuff, which I, will, I haven't really packed it together yet. So let me just do that uh, real quick. Actually, uh, I think I'll tear all of this down and I'll put it in cases and kind of show you guys what it's supposed to look like when it's all good to go because I'm bringing them with me tomorrow for a gig and stuff. So uh, I'll pack everything down. Just before that, I forgot to mention the drums. These are Thomas Superstar Hyperdrive, our Birch uh, drums, but with a King Drums custom 13x7 maple snare. So uh, Evans drum heads all around, G G2 over G1, um, EMAD coded over EQ3 uh, coded resonant. EMAD calf tone uh, over EC resonant and heavyweight over uh, 300 hazy. So 
let me pack all of this stuff down and I will show you guys what it looks like when it's all good to go. So just give me a second here. Actually, before I do that, I forgot to mention what sticks I use. These are the Vader Gospel Series Fusion Sticks. I made a review about these recently, so you can check that out if you want. These are really cool. I love them. And there's one new thing as well I forgot to mention. Speaking of sticks, this is a Vader stick holder, like a, a universal kind of stick holder. It goes pretty much on anything. So I just put that on this clamp, uh, sorry, on this stand here. Uh, let me grab new sticks nice and easy whenever I need to, which uh, tends to happen a lot. I tend to drop sticks every now and then on gigs. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'll pack everything down and uh, yeah. All right, so that is everything packed down and good to go. So let me just walk you through real quick what we got here. Uh, here are some hard cases. Uh, the brand is actually called Hard Case uh, for the toms and the kick. I got a soft case, which, which is of the brand uh, Protection Racket. For the snare, I should probably get a hard case eventually, but right now I only have this soft case. And a hard case for the cymbals, uh, a little green, uh, well it's painted on, but it's, it's old, it's not mine from the beginning. Uh, a case for the double pedals, the Tama Iron Cobra Power Glide double pedals. And a hardware case, I don't even know what brand it is, I actually, I'm actually borrowing this from the singer in the tribute band I play with, he's a drummer as well, so I'm borrowing this from him. Uh, it's really nice, get all, gets all my hardware in there, and I usually bring spare heads. These are really beat up just from all the travel, but in case uh, any head of, on my snare breaks, these are better than nothing. So I bring these and all the hardware in here, everything that I showed you guys previously, and as well as, as a, uh, a stand for an iPad, because with the tribute band we usually have... I have an iPad and a little pedal going, because I'm the one responsible for starting the songs and stuff. So all of that is in here. And um, the little throne here, the top piece doesn't fit anywhere, so I have to take that separately. And I should have a bag for this, uh, this rug somewhere, but I can't seem to find it right now. But it's okay to take it just like this, at least for now. And this is new as well, uh, this little um, bag or whatever. I used to carry all my mics and stuff in a little, uh, another little bag, like a minor bag, I think I got from the, the festival 2015. Just a little carry-on bag, you know. Um, but this is a more proper bag. I have all the mics and stuff in here in their little cases. Uh, drumsticks, stick holder, my inner monitors, uh, all the spare parts and stuff down here. And here I got some emergency kind of stuff, like a piece of toilet paper, uh, some, some uh, whatever these are called. Uh, I don't know the English name for these, actually. Uh, the struggles of not being a native speaker. Uh, business cards in this little thing. I'll show you what I mean by those. But here's some more stuff in case I get blisters on my finger. But the business cards... I don't know if you guys seen these. Uh, let's see. Oh, it's here in my pocket. I made these a while back. Um, this is actually for, made for my old drumsticks that I kept from the last five or six years. So I cut those up and drill holes and stuff and put them into key rings so with all my information on them. So I bring these to the gigs and stuff as my little business cards to hand out whenever the opportunity arises. But that should pretty much be everything. So I'm packed down, good to go. It's getting really late. I gotta get up at five in the morning. So that's in about five and a half hours. So I should probably head on home, but uh, that's it for this quick little video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. A little uh, behind the scenes, I guess, of what I do before all the before and after all the gigs. There's more than just playing, you know. But I'll catch you guys soon with a, a more proper video. So take care.